one of the uh, takeaways from the testimony, particularly from the worker's testimony, is the critical importance of the enforcement um, and the fact that our current state and uh, state labor law agencies just are not, uh, don't have the resources at the time to do that. So uh, to begin with, we start by urging the city uh, to uh, s uh, enforce, to basically look at every avenue possible uh, to enforce uh, these, uh, these rights that workers are claiming at the city level, and particularly to look for uh, sources of revenue through the penalties uh, that, can, that employers will be required to pay for the enforcement. Uh, we also uh, talked about making sure that the city looks at the licensing, uh, the time of licensing and renewals as a time when employers can be scrutinized further, and that we are also urging the city attorney's office to start uh, looking at the payment of uh, checks with insufficient funds, particularly in the wage context. Uh, secondly, uh, the Car Wash Workers' Rights Board uh, will request that the City of Los Angeles Board of Public Works review whether existing local laws and administrative procedures regulating the car wash industry could be improved to enhance legal compliance and publish results of that review. We also recommend that, the that there be a formation of a panel under the leadership of the City Council made up of representatives of the City Council, leaders of the communities in which car washes operate, car wash workers themselves, of course, car wash owners that meet regularly and make recommendations for raising the standards in the car wash industry. We also urge that the City of Los Angeles do business only with those car washes that have signed the clean no car wash agreement and are abiding by its terms. As part of that, we ask that the city make sure that it has its imprimatur to ensure that it consumers are being informed about which car washes are actually complying with the laws. So with our ABC uh, ratings that consumers in California and LA are so uh, accustomed to. We recommend that all Los Angeles, Los Angeles area car wash businesses sign the clean car wash agreement to provide a path to collective bargaining for car wash workers through a citywide local union. We are also recommending that the California Department of Industrial Relations spearhead a multi-agency task force to investigate the complaints and prioritize the collection of stolen wages. We are urging the public not to cross picket lines at area car washes and to patronize only those car washes, again, that sign the clean wash agreement or a collective bargaining agreement with the union. We will urge the Western Car Wash Association to recommend to its members that they sign the clean car wash agreement. We recommend that the Los Angeles City Council support passage of the wage theft ordinance, which was introduced by City Council Member Alarcón and would criminalize the w theft of wages that we heard about today. Finally, we will be releasing a report summarizing the testimony that we heard today to inform and educate the broader public community and religious leaders, labor leaders, public officials, and policymakers about the extraordinary injustices car wash workers endure throughout the city. We will also propose solutions in the form of concrete recommendations to car wash owners, car wash workers, the city of Los Angeles, regulatory agencies, and the public at large.